Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. If you are new, please go ahead and click the subscribe button uh, so I can keep you in the loop of what's going on here. And if you are one of my awesome subscribers, go ahead, leave a comment. Let me know what is it that you uh, wanna see. Tell me what you think, all right? Today I am going to be doing a video on um, a meal, a meal that I would prepare for my family, a meal that I'm actually preparing for my family tonight. So normally I get in front of the camera. However, I just finished a brutal workout. I am exhausted. I still have to go to my son's basketball game and I had to finish dinner. So I figured I would just shoot some footage, um, let you see the steps that I took in order to get to the end product and I'll share it with you. So here goes. During this time of year, soups are quite popular simply because it's cool or cold in some areas and soups are perfect for cozying up. However, soups tend to have beans or potatoes in them and that's just something that is not keto friendly. However, the soup that I'm gonna make today, I call it uh, leftover turkey cream soup. Um, is perfectly keto friendly. It's actually perfectly family friendly and it is just all around yummy and pretty easy to make. So here it goes. Okay, so we are going to get started with our bacon. You just need about six slices. I guess it depends on the size of your family and that will determine how many slices you choose to um, have. I have six in here, um, but you can have maybe less or even more. All right, so here I've got my finished product, yummy bacon, and I will be using that for the topping of our soup. And this is our leftover baking grease. We're gonna use that to um, stir fry our veggies, which we have right now. All right, so the vegetables we're gonna be using are some green onions or leeks, some celery, some orange bell pepper, green bell pepper, some yellow onions, and um, then for me, because my eyes water, I need some lemon juice or lime juice because it helps with the teary eyes. All right, so now that I have dumped my veggies in, um, I am getting ready to add my two tablespoons of butter and um, that's gonna add a little bit more flavor and just give a little bit more fat content and then I'm gonna stir that all up oh I wish you could smell this okay so here I have started to add my dried ingredients and I'm gonna do a quick reversal so you can see what all I've put in there. So I've got um, some chicken broth and uh, cream cheese, and I've got some thyme and cayenne pepper, some heavy whipping cream, some shredded cheese, cheddar cheese, some black pepper, and Himalayan salt. So all of that I dumped in there, and um, that's what it looks like. Right here is where I have the cream cheese added. Just kind of stir that around, let that melt up. And next I am getting ready to add the heavy whipping cream. I've got about a cup of that. Mmm, see how it's boiling really well with that cream cheese just um, soaking in there well. Melting, I should say. So there goes my heavy whipping cream, and I'm gonna give it a good stir. Now for the shredded cheese, which is also about a cup of cheese. And now it's just gonna be time to let it sit a little bit and stir. And last but not least, Time for the main ingredient, the leftover turkey, which was really good by the way. Um, but I think it's gonna be even better in this soup. Mm. 
All right, so one last ingredient that is um, an option is the xanthan gum. And this is used for thickening. So if you'd like to, um, you can use about a teaspoonful and go ahead and stir that in. Uh, but it all depends on your uh, thickness consistency. So if you like it a lot more soupy, then don't add it. But if you like something a little thicker, um, this is perfect. And uh, there you have it. So I am just gonna let it sit and just warm up a little bit more. Mm. And voila. And there you have it, the finished product. You can top it with the bacon. I love sour cream. Um, so some sour cream, some more cheddar cheese, maybe even some green onions cut up. And instead of the turkey, you can actually use um, cauliflower or broccoli. So make it your own, but whatever you do, enjoy it. All right, guys, well, that is it for this video, but feel free to check out my other videos and just tag along with me for this ride. Um, I have a feeling that God's got something great in store. Blessings.